Hello everyone, we come back again for topic 3 with subtopic binomial expansion. So for today, we want to learn to determine the expansion of 1 plus x power of n which magnitude of x must be less than 1 and then n is a rational number. So to make easier, I have changed our x as a b and then we have to remember that our n must be a negative integer or rational number only. So, our expansion for 1 plus b power of n, our first term must be always equal to 1. And then, to find the second term, n multiply with b. To find the third term, n multiply with n minus 1 over 2 factorial, multiply with b power of 2. And then, to find the fourth term, n multiply with n minus 1, multiply with n minus 2 over 3 factorial, multiply with b power of 3, and then so on. This expansion only valid for magnitude of b must be less than 1. And then, the value of b must be in between negative 1 and 1. Remark for this expansion, this expansion is an infinite series. And then the second one, this expansion only valid if our magnitude of B less than 1. In this example 1, the question asks to find the first four term in this expansion and then to find the values of x for which the expansion are valid. That means the question one to ask about the validity for the expansion. In our example one, we have 1 plus x power of 1 over 4. So we have to expand until the fourth term. So the first step, we have to list down what is our n and then what is our b value. So, our n is equal to 1 over 4. Then, our b is equal to x. To expand, we can just substitute in this expansion. So, 1 plus x power of 1 over 4, our first term must be equals to 1. And then, our second term, n multiply with b. So, our n, 1 over 4 multiply with x. The third term, n multiply with n minus 1. So, our n again, 1 over 4 multiply with 1 over 4 minus 1 over 2 factorial multiply with b power of 2. So, our b is x. b power of 2 is x power of 2. This is the third term. Next, our fourth term n multiply with n minus 1, multiply with n minus 2. Again, our n is 1 over 4. Second term, 1 over 4 minus 1. Next, 1 over 4 minus 2. Over 3 factorial, multiply with b power of 3. So, our b is x. So, x power of 3. Plus dot dot dot. So simplify. Here we have 1 plus 1 over 4x plus 1 over 4. Here negative 3 over 4 over 2 factorial. Here is x square plus 
1 over 4 multiply with negative 3 over 4 multiply with negative 7 over 4 over 3 factorial and then this one is x cubed plus dot 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 okay calculate so our expansion is 1 plus 1 over 4x minus 3 over 32x square plus 7 over 128x cubed plus dot 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 as this is infinite series. So now here is the expansion for the 1 plus x power of 1 over 4. Okay, next we want to find the validity for this expansion. The expansion is valid. For magnitude B must be less than 1. Just substitute our value for B. So our B is X. So magnitude X less than 1. So as X must be less than 1. And then more than negative 1. So this is the validity for 1 plus X power of 1 over 4. For example 2, the question also asks to find the first four terms in the expansion and then also the validity of this expansion. Example 2, we have 1 over third 1 plus x. What we need to do first, we have to simplify. So, our set is power of 1 over 2. So, we now have 1 over 1 minus x power of half. And then, bring denominator to the numerator. So, now we have 1 minus x power of negative 1 over 2. As usual, we have to list down what is our b and then what is our n. So, now our b is equals to negative x. And then our n is equals to negative 1 over 2. So, to find the expansion, as usual, we have to use the upward expansion. So, 1 minus x power of negative 1 over 2 equals to our first term is always 1. Second term n multiply with b so our n is negative 1 over 2 multiply with b so negative x plus our third term n multiply with n minus 1 over 2 factorial so our n negative 1 over 2 multiply with negative 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 factorial and then multiply with b square. So, I will be negative x power of 2. Okay. So, the first, the fourth term n multiply with n minus 1 multiply with n minus 2. So, our n negative 1 over 2 multiply with negative 1 over 2 minus 1 multiply with negative 1 over 2 minus 2 over 
3 factorial and then multiply with b power of 3. So, our b negative x power of 3 plus dot 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 as this is infinite series. Okay, so simplify. Here is 1 and then this one. Negative 1 over 2 multiply with negative x. Here, negative 1 over 2 multiply with negative 3 over 2 over 2 factorial. Multiply with negative x square plus here, negative 1 over 2 multiply with negative 3 over 2 multiply with negative 5 over 2 over 3 factorial and then multiply with negative x power of 3 plus dot dot dot. Okay, so simplify, calculate it by the calculator. Okay, so we have 1 here, negative, negative 1 over 2 multiply with negative x. So, negative multiply with negative, it should be positive. So, here is positive 1 over 2x. And then, here is 3 over 8 x square and then the fourth term is 5 over 16 x cube plus dot 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 as this is infinite series so here we have the expansion until the fourth term for the 1 minus x power of negative half okay now so we want to find the validity for this expansion. The expansion is valid for same as before. Magnitude B must be less than 1. So our B is negative X. So just substitute into B. So, we have magnitude negative x less than 1. Magnitude negative x is always positive. So, we have magnitude x less than 1. Open the magnitude, open the modulus. So, now x is in between 1 and negative 1. So, this is the validity for this expansion.